snowy conditions and Alexis. Indeed, yes, and very bitterly cold temperatures overnight tonight. We are expecting temperatures to plunge down to around minus 10 Celsius, maybe. So very cold, bitterly cold, less cold Wednesday and Friday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, and a colder weekend in store. So let's look at tonight's temperatures. We could see in parts of Oxfordshire where we have the lying snow, a low of minus 10 Celsius. These are values in towns and cities, widely minus 2 to minus 3 Celsius everywhere. But in cold parts in Oxfordshire areas north of Berkshire could see the really cold temperatures. So a bitterly cold night to come and there is a Met Office ice warning in force. Very slippery surfaces following the rain, sleet and snowfall over the last 24 hours. So a widespread frost but lots of sunshine tomorrow. Bitterly cold, icy conditions. The Met Office warning is in force until 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. Highs of just freezing in some places, but milder conditions for the south coast and the Isle of Wight. A lovely end to the day tomorrow, some late evening sunshine, but then tomorrow night the milder air moves in and with it some rain. We could see some misty and murky conditions during the early hours of Wednesday morning. The outbreaks of rain will bring that milder condition, the milder weather and temperatures initially will fall to freezing or just below. A mainly dry start to the day on Wednesday but then the cloud will increase and we'll see another band of rain and that could be quite heavy at times during Wednesday afternoon with a high of 4 to 10 Celsius but milder temperatures than tomorrow. In some places tomorrow temperatures could be just around freezing. A windy day on Thursday. You see, see a real squeeze on the isobars. During the course of the day we are expecting a few showers in amongst some sunny spells and similar conditions on Friday. Sunny spells and scatter showers and a high of 8 to 9 Celsius. Here's the outlook for the weekend. Cold Saturday but turning milder on Sunday. Sally. Alexis, thank you very much. OK, knock knock. Who's that? Well, a new and rather unusual comedy club. Very good. Well, the Bogner Institute of Laughter is a project offering funny and creative <laughs> opportunities to people in deprived areas. Now they're even getting some help from a member of the comedy aristocracy, Arthur Smith. Roger Finn went along to meet him and get his funny bone tickled. Doctor, doctor, there's a patient in bed one and he says he's invisible. Well, tell him I can't see him right now. Tried to catch um, fog yesterday. Missed. <laughs> Welcome to the Bogner Institute of Laughter. One of the first classes, a comedy workshop for local primary school children, led by Hilary Strong, former director of the Edinburgh Festival Fringe. The main idea is to give people opportunity to learn new skills. We've got a two-year plan, which is to develop a comedy club in Bognor, but run entirely by people who live nearby in what is, you know, quite a disadvantaged area of Bognor. The project's being funded by the People's Health Lottery and will help support unemployed people and those with a variety of life challenges. Richard Mahaffey was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome just last year. He's already got a couple of stand-up gigs under his belt. Some have gone better than others. I did one on Friday and the microphone decided to pack up halfway through and I had my first ever showbiz hissy fit where I stormed off, threw the microphone down. Hillary's given me the confidence to go back out and do it again. The official launch ceremony was an appropriately dignified affair. And then the grand inauguration of the Institute's emeritus professor, comedy veteran and grumpy old man, Arthur Smith. You know what they say about Bognor with its broad boulevards, its glorious beach and its pulsating nightlife. <laughs> Bogner is like a cross between Paris, Rio de Janeiro and East Croydon. <laughs> <laughs> laughter is a way, you know, laughter therapy almost, you might call it, is a way of coping with the strange, grim and difficult realities of the world. Oh, well Very done. Good. You did Very really good. good with the jokes. Brilliant. Much better than us. Yes. That's <laughs> it from us this evening. We're back tomorrow. Have a lovely night, won't you? And stay safe. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.